This is something you, you may not have known was going on this week. I want to show you the front page from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel earlier this week. Milwaukee Journal Sentinel in Wisconsin, of course. You see the headline there across the very top of the masthead. Key Republican slams election review. Republican State Senator Kathy Bernier calls exercise baseless, comma, dangerous. State Senator Kathy Barnier, a Republican who leads the State Elections Committee, says the Republican commissioned review of the 2020 election results in Wisconsin is firing up people who don't understand elections. A Republican state senator criticizing the Republican review of the election results in Wisconsin. That was page one of the Journal Sentinel earlier this week. The following day, the Journal Sentinel editorial board wrote a blistering editorial cheering for that Republican cheering for that Republican and her willingness to take that stand. Look at this. Quote, Kathy Bernier stood up for the truth on Monday. The Republican chair of the state Senate Elections Committee knows that it may lead to vile threats against her and almost certainly will come at a political cost. She did it anyway. That's courage. Finally, a Republican leader in Wisconsin stood for democracy. Senator Bernier eviscerated the partisan review of the 2020 election that Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss launched to appease former President Donald Trump. She called the Republican Inquisition exactly what it is, a charade. She knows far more than the man conducting the review does about the subject of which she speaks. Kathy Bernier oversaw elections for 12 years as the county clerk in Chippewa County. She's seen what is plain as day. Repeated lies by Trump and Republican politicians from Washington, D.C. to Madison, Wisconsin. Those lies are undermining confidence in the most basic of American institutions, the ballot box. All the lies and ceaseless provocation comes at a serious cost. 68% of Republicans nationwide do not have confidence in the 2020 election, according to a November poll. What they're doing is dangerous. In addition to threatening democracy, some people are also threatening elections officials. Top officials in both Milwaukee and Madison, Wisconsin, have been menaced as the lies spread and took root. It has never been harder in Wisconsin or in the nation to do the hard work of actually ensuring election integrity. And it's never been harder to do the hard work of actually telling the truth about the threats to our democracy. But on Monday, Senator Kathy Bernier told the truth, and every citizen of our state should thank her. That's the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel again this week, shining a light and really standing up and cheering for a Republican who is being brave on this subject, who is the whole rest of her party nationwide and statewide is indulging in this stuff. She is standing up and she's the chair of the Elections Committee in the Senate in Wisconsin. She's standing up as a Republican and saying, actually, you know what? No, this is all nonsense. I'm not going along with it. And it cannot be an easy thing for a Republican to do, but she is doing it. This is a charade. There's a simple explanation for almost every single thing that people accuse election officials of doing. These made up things that people do to jazz up the base is just despicable. And I don't think any elected legislator should ever play that game. We have a great system here, and no one should falsely accuse election officials of cheating. They say, but we don't have confidence in Milwaukee, and we don't have confidence in Madison. Just remember, you take it down to the micro level. There are volunteer poll workers, practically volunteer, working every single poll. And every single poll have people that are just as honest as you and I working that poll. No election is perfect, but there is not evidence of intentional malfeasance, no evidence that the election in 2020 wasn't accurate. When Benjamin Franklin came out of the convention and our Constitution was created, <clears throat> he was asked, what kind of a government do we have? And he said, a republic, if we can keep it. We're in jeopardy of losing it. You can hear the emotion in her voice there at the end. It can't be easy. Republican State Senator Kathy Berner in Wisconsin taking on her party and the way they are still trying to undermine the election results. 
Republicans in the Wisconsin legislature announced just today that their election review in 2020, they're going to extend it. They were supposed to end it by the end of the calendar year. They now say it's going to extend into 2022, and they're going to give it lots more taxpayer funding.